Hello, I've come to the world-famous Jockey Club in the centre of Newmarket in England. It is a place that is steeped in history because this is the centre of horse racing. This is where it all started. And I'm pleased to say, just look on the wall. The paintings here are incredible. This is the great Frankel, unbeaten horse, and of course, sire of over 800 winners. And his late great owner, Prince Khalid Abdullah, his breeder as well. That's the way he would dress for Royal Ascot. And would you believe his trainer, the late great Sir Henry Cecil? That's how he used to dress to, to relax. He always had a very good fashion sense. And talking of fashion, what about Sir Winston Churchill? Great Prime Minister, of course, and a man who loved his racing. He was always well turned out. And I hope you think I'm well turned out. And the reason I'm talking fashion is because I've got Paul Brown, the head designer and owner of Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Paul, hello. Uh, what was the quote you were telling me about Winston Churchill? Uh, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. Wow, that is incredible. And from a man like that, yeah. you sit up and take note. What is your famous quote or your favourite quote in the fashion world? What would that uh, be? That would be uh, G. Bruce Boyer, and he was the editor of Town and Country, and his quote was, real luxury is understanding quality and having the time to enjoy it. So, Paul, how did it all start, the business? Well, it actually started when I was at university. I was actually studying economics at the time, um, but I was really disenfranchised by the fashion industry. I was really unhappy with the low quality, fast fashion clothing, but also the branded clothing, because you really were only buying into a brand. It wasn't built on quality. So I decided to enroll on a three week intensive course at the London College of Fashion. Um, and by the end of it, I made my first tailored shirt. From there, I started making more shirts in my parents' garage. And I started to wear them when I was at university. And a few people came up to me and said, oh, I, I like your shirt, where did you get it from? I said, well, actually, I made it myself. And I decided when I graduated from university that I'd actually start selling these shirts that I was making in my parents' garage. And then in 2010, I launched my first shirt collection uh, that was made in Suffolk in my factory. And 10 years today, we are now selling to 40 countries around the world with products ranging from shirts, trench coats to field jackets. So what is it about the British tradition of tailoring? Well, it's an amazing history. Everyone's heard of German Street and Savile Row. And of course, it's not just the tailoring, it's also the fashion. We've got London Fashion Week. We've got some amazing names like Paul Smith, Alexander McQueen. So my product was really trying to combine the two together. So we have that traditional British tailoring, uh, quality British craftsmanship, but at the same time we come up with designs that are original, so we add our own little bit of uh, flavour, bit of interest into it, so when you're wearing our products you have the benefit of something that is different, you're not going to see it anywhere else, but you also got the quality and the tailoring, so it's going to fit well, it's going to look great, and you're going to wash it after, wash after wash, and it's always going to be that fantastic product and a, a wardrobe staple. You were talking about quality there, how would you define your, your, your best product? It's a difficult question. Um, in terms of sales, our chinos has become our best selling product and we have what we call create your own chinos where you can choose from a wide range of waist measurements, leg measurements and builds and in many ways you can get almost a made to measure product online without having to leave your living room. So that's become our most popular product but in terms of the, the product I'm probably the most proud of it's actually our men's trench coat which takes over a day to make. It involves 300 components and uh, it just, there's no compromises on quality. So we, we source the cloth from uh, British Millivane, which is the oldest waxing clothing company in the world. We use uh, antique copper rivets um, throughout, which just adds that additional level of quality. We use a shirt lining inside, which is actually designed obviously for men's shirts. We actually use it in a trench coat, a traditional check lining and real leather buckles. I mean, from start to finish, it's just a beautiful product where there's been no compromises. And if you're buying that or fortunate to own one, you really are investing in not just a beautiful coat, but, but 10 years of, of British excellence and a desire by myself and my staff to produce the ultimate trench coat and the ultimate product that represents Britain and everything that's great about this country. What has been your biggest challenge since you started? That has always been training up tailors and seamstresses. Um, a lot of people recognise England still as manufacturing, but a lot of it still happens in London or uh, the Midlands. But actually Suffolk, we haven't got the same 
pool of people. So we rely very heavily on fashion graduates and a very intensive training program to get them up to scratch. Because of course, if you are selling the best products that you're proud of that are selling around the world, it's all about the quality and no compromise on quality. So they've all got to be trained to a very high standard. The programs are intensive, but once we get through that barrier, we end up with some outstanding people and most importantly, outstanding products. What about the effect fashion has on the environment? How do you cope with that? It's something that I've always been very passionate about, and that's one of the reasons why I never got into fast fashion. Um, it's the second worst polluter only to the oil industry. And what a lot of people don't realise, it's not just about the transportation of having it shipped from China or the Far East to England, but it's also the microplastics that now end up in the oceans. And that's because a lot of the garments you buy that are from cheap fast fashion are made of polyester. Of course, all our clothing is all made from cotton. And uh, the benefit of cotton is it's sustainable, it will biodegrade. So that benefit, along with the fact it's made locally, so it's not coming across the Atlantic or across the Pacific Ocean, reduces our carbon footprint and leads to a much more sustainable product. And of course, I believe in a product that's well made in longevity. So, you know, I have customers that bought my first shirt collection 10 years ago and they're still wearing it today. And I think that's a testament to the quality of what we're doing and the entire philosophy we have. You mentioned it's your 10th anniversary. Yeah. What about the next 10 years? Um, I would just continue what we've always done, and that's always investing in quality, always finding the best fabrics, never compromising on that basic idea that you should buy something that's well-priced, that will last, will always look stylish, and just try and really push that around the world, because I think we've tapped into 40 countries, but there's still a lot more out there, and I think there's a lot of people that are looking for a great product, a particular great British stylish product, um, and it's just our job to go out there and find those people and give them that joy that so many have had from buying our stuff over the years.